Hello everyone, my name is P.H. Charbonneau and I'm an RT architect and also the other on uh, Java support patterns.blogspot.com. So today's uh, training tutorial will essentially uh, cover the infamous Java Adam memory error Java heap space. Uh, what I'm proposing here is the uh, troubleshooting guide for beginners. Um, so we're going to go through some of the errors and patterns and, and, and common solution of this problem. Okay. So Ah, the memory Java heap space. What is it, right? So essentially, that indicate that the um, your Oracle Java base application, or it could be a game process uh, also, that ran out of memory. Um, so again, it's a Java heap depletion here, not OS or native memory. So essentially, increasing the memory of your OS will not fix this issue, unless you have a very good idea what's going on. So I realize that the people uh, watching this video may be trying to um, troubleshoot this uh, if playing games. I think a good example I'm seeing uh, in the community these days is the Minecraft gaming community, which is Java Base. Um, so if so, if you're hosting a server uh, and facing this problem, obviously you you also need to um, have the similar approach in troubleshooting. Okay, so please keep uh, viewing this video if that's the case. Okay. So common symptom of this problem, um, if you're a Java developer or as I said, using Java based program, essentially there will be a sudden failure or major slowness of your Java application or game process, as I mentioned, right? The error found that uh, you obviously already are facing already is this one that we see here, right? The Atom error Java heap space that we see in, in red here. Um, so that will essentially tell you that the Java process ran out of memory and the actual program itself will, will exit, okay? Another possible symptom that you may observe will be high CPU utilization, right? Because the uh, obviously Java programming language and JVM is using garbage collection to, to collect all the memory uh, objects created by the, uh, the program. So when the, the GM is, is, is getting close to out of memory, the garbage collection will, will start to trigger much more frequently. So as a side effect, you will see high CPU utilization of your server. So that's a very common symptom uh, when the, your uh, Java program or, or even game is, is getting close to out of memory. Okay. Possible causes. Well, the there's, there's, there's quite a few there. So I did list kind of the most common ones here. So the, the most common is inadequate Java heap capacity setting, right? That typically all set up to uh, XMS and XMX parameters. Um, so for example, if you're using the default settings or you're using a, a setting too low for your application requirement, it's, it's a very common problem. Another possible uh, is, a, is a Java program memory leak. So in this scenario, it's essentially a buildup of your Java objects over time, which are not released by the garbage co collector itself. Okay, so that's, this is getting into a bit more complex troubleshooting here, but it's a very, very common problem. Not to be confused with the classic C++ memory leak here. Um, this is essentially more uh, the program level leak, not necessarily a, a pointer. So that's a, a different topic, but that's a very uh, common problem. And of course, you may have a situation where your your application footprint is just too high, like non-optimal code written, or you're trying to do too much work on a single process. Um, in this case, you may have some, uh, as I mentioned, as excessive workload processing for a single process. Okay, but again, keep in mind the most simple ones will be capacity issue um, and the memory leak, which is uh, of course a very common problem. Now, what type of tools right can help you in a diagnostic? Well, the out of the box, uh, GVM offer you to, uh, uh, it's called Verbo GC, so it allows you to essentially have a look at the memory usage of the GVM uh, through a separate log file. So it's very useful as a starting point to, to do some diagnostic. Common tools for troubleshooting will be Java Visual VM and Oracle Mission Control, which is now packaged in the Java, the latest version of uh, GDK 1.7, and of course the Java 1.8. Now, of course, if you're, um, as I mentioned, you're having issue with a separate program or, or game itself, you may not have that expertise necessarily to do that drill down. So you may have to uh, fall back on some uh, forum or at least that's what I would recommend. At least having some parameter to get you some verbal GC would help um, at providing the some of the traces to the, uh, the, the vendor responsible for your program or your product. And of course, the APM technologies, if you're in the uh, Java developer role, um, the APM technologies, um, for example, like Dynatrace, uh, and uh, again, th there's quite a few out there, uh, New Relic. Um, so the, these technologies will definitely help you monitor uh, 
your Java performance uh, and troubleshooting, but much beyond, right? Obviously, all the response time and everything. So those technologies also are, are very great to help you in your uh, Java troubleshooting uh, around memory problem as well. Now, common solution, right? So we're going to um, to discuss a few. So we'll start with the simple solution. So of course, if you're using the default setting of Java, uh, a simple solution will be to increase the max Java capacity, right, through the XMX parameter. Uh, in this example, we the heap is set up with a four gig limit. Uh, now keep in mind that it will depends of your computer or server specification, right? So Java has essentially you can use 32 bit or 64 bit. So a fairly recent server or even workstation will uh, would recommend that you. Uh, you or use 64 bit um, depending on your requirements they will allow you to scale more so obviously don't don't make sure you don't overscale Java more than your physical RAM so it's very important that you uh, keep enough physical RAM available for the OS and your other uh, processes uh, but you have to make sure essentially that you have enough Java uh, memory to your Java heap while not starving your OS as well and the other processes running on your server or workstation okay so that's a very common solution just to increase the max capacity of course when capacity cannot be increased further again there'll be a symptom that you you definitely need to monitor profile and resolve any application memory leak it's very important right because um, even if you increase capacity it will buy you some time but eventually you'll be running out of memory so it's very important to profile and resolve application memory leak again this is applicable for java developers here um, and of course even if you don't have any memory leak the application may not be too efficient. So in this case, I would recommend that you optimize and reduce your Java application or footprint. This is a, a bit more complex exercise, but this can be achieved through profiling technologies like JProfiler or your kit. Okay. So when these three above um, cannot be improved further, then I would recommend that you start uh, looking at splitting the workload of your Java across uh, several Java processes. So that, that's typically referred as vertical and horizontal scaling. So that means when you cannot tune further your app and you have too much load, then of course you have to scale. Um, that will help you also with some redundancy regardless. Uh, but make sure you, you invest enough time first in resolving leak and application footprint. Otherwise, you will just rely on hardware right to to work around your uh, your performance and at some point it's not the ideal solution so make sure the application footprint is optimal proper sizing and at some point uh, you would fall back on vertical and horizontal scaling to split the load across right which will reduce pressure point on the java heap in the garbage collection process okay so that's kind of high level guidelines here that i wanted to walk through with you now what i want to do next is uh show you essentially a live uh, replication of this problem right so we created a very simple Java program uh, in Eclipse right actually we use the Eclipse version can show you quickly that's the uh, Eclipse ID for Java developers right Mars release very simple lightweight for these type of tutorials so essentially we created a very small program and we're going to simulate this problem out of memory error Java heap space um, and then we're just going to do a, a, a high-level walkthrough of some of the troubleshooting uh, techniques that I was explaining earlier okay so in this case the program is simply accumulating object right in a static cache right which is essentially a, a hash map object right and then we accumulate uh, data in the hash map right across several iteration and and then we're, we're trying to simulate the other error okay so i also include kind of a, a a bit of a sleep in the program in case you want to monitor through java visual vm before it's running out of memory so we'll do that later okay so let me start with the execution okay so i'm going to to run the actual program itself right so the program will start and then of course the program will start accuring the pro the uh the uh the, the string data in the hash map on still running out of memory, right? So we can see that the program ran out of memory, which is exactly the, um, the topic of our discussion here, right? So it ran out of memory, and, um, and there's a couple of things that we're going to see together, right? First, if I show you the, the capacity sizing, right? I was discussing earlier, right? So I did set up a heap capacity of only 256 megabytes, right? I enable the verbal GC log that we'll be able to see later. And also I requested a JVM to generate a heap dump. So that's a separate topic, but just keep in mind when your Java program is running out of memory, 
Uh, you can also ask the uh, hotspot JVM to generate a heap dump, which is essentially kind of a, a memory dump of all the objects that you can analyze later. Okay, that will be in scope for a separate topic, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so that's what happened here. We had the other memory, right? Error, um, which we cut here, right? As we can, can see. And the program did an exit. And if we go in our project, you will see the heap dump file was generated, right? Which is uh, 255, essentially the same size of the, the heap, right? And we also have a GC log that was created. Now, GC log, I'm not going to spend too much time, but as I mentioned, it's a way for you to monitor. Uh, it's more advanced topic here. Um, but that's a way for you to keep track of the history of the GVM around me, uh, garbage collection, memory footprint, and everything. So in this case, we can see a major collection were, were firing like very frequently. It's just a symptom, right, that the GVM was running out of memory, ultimately throwing the other memory. Um, and then we can see the actual heap breakdown at the end. Uh, which was completely 100% used, right? In this case, both the young generation and the old generation, right? So verbal GC are extremely useful to that type of assessment. Um, and of course, you have the heap dump uh, as well, okay? Now we're going to introduce some slowdown of the program and rerun it so we can monitor it quickly. As I mentioned, right, the JVisual VM tool earlier, um, can be monitored right through Visual VM. So in this case, obviously we're using the Windows OS. So Java Visual VM will essentially detect our Java processes. And then you see the Java Visual VM offer you a, a heap monitoring view, right? So since we introduced some stone, as you can see, Mary will start to accumulate uh, on still our max capacity. So it's very useful to, um, to monitor. You can even trigger a, a garbage collection, right? Um, in case you want to just see how, how much retention, right? So essentially you will see always noise created by the garbage collection. Um, but at the end of the day, at some point of program, even though some garbage are released by some other piece of the program, the, our main object will accumulate over time and eventually will be running out of memory. So Java Visual M is, is actually very useful uh, to the troubleshooting um, as well. Um, and then you can generate also thread them or heap them directly from Java Visual VM. So in this case, we uh, we can you can use it for your troubleshooting. Uh, there's other topics that I can discuss, but just just keep that in mind for now. And um, and that's essentially it, right? So that's really the basic of a uh, troubleshooting. Um, so of course, depending as I mentioned earlier at the beginning, if you're using a, a Java base program, so you obviously you won't you won't have to do all that troubleshooting. So I would just recommend that you revisit your uh, heap settings of the program as per the documentation. Minecraft was a good example. If you're hosting a server, make sure Minecraft is running with the proper capacity through the XMX, right? Um, other than that, if you're a Java developer role, it's it's very important that you understand that troubleshooting. Uh, pr principle here, right, and and use the the proper recommended tools uh, for the troubleshooting. All right. So please feel free to let me know if you have any question. Um, also, be looking for your comments. I can make the source code available. It's a very simple program. I can, uh, as I said, I'll, I'll make the Java source code available as well. So please feel free to let me know if, uh, if you have any comment or question. As I said, that was more high level view for the beginners, and. Um, Hope you enjoy it. So have a good day. Thank you.